Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new action figure review for you. This time I am reviewing the Jumanji Charging Rhino. This is a Lanard Toys action figure based on the second Jumanji movie that has Dwayne The Rock Johnson in it. I haven't seen that movie yet, but it does look like a nice toy. Here it comes in an open package where we can touch the Rhino and the action figure. And it has a try it feature. So that sounds pretty cool. So here is the front of the package. Here is the top of the package. The bottom of the package. This has information about the batteries in it. Here is one side. That has an interesting looking animal. I don't think they ever made a toy out of it though. And here is the other side. And here is the back. It shows a picture of the rhino. A little story about the uh, Jumanji movie. Some cross sell here. This was made in 2019. This was a Walmart exclusive, so I bought it in the store at the time. So I will open this up and review the action figure in just a moment. Here is the human action figure that comes with the charging rhino. Let's take a look at how tall this action figure is. Looks like just a little bit less than four inches tall or about 10 centimeters tall. So I think it's a little smaller than the other one that came with the uh, hippo. Well, let's take a closer look. So this is a different character. Now I haven't seen the movie so I don't know which character this is supposed to be. I'm not entirely sure if this is based on a character in the movie because Lanard Toys probably used uh, or reused a mold that they already have just to uh, fill in a character. So it just kind of looks like the arms are a bit too long on this character. I think it's not quite proportioned correctly. But there's a lot of details on the action figure and some of the details have been painted on this so I'm kind of happy about that. And it looks like there is a little gun here. It's in the holster but it's sculpted on. It's glued in there so we cannot remove it. And some nice shirt and some extra equipment on the shirt. None of it can be removed. There's some boots. We have peg holes on the bottom of the boots there. And some more details on the back, although it doesn't look like there's really much paint here. There's the hole for the screw where they assembled the action figure. So, looks like a pretty simple and basic action figure. Let's see what the articulation is. So, we can only turn side to side just a little bit. The shoulders, we can actually go out. That's pretty nice. And we can go around. So that's good. We have single jointed elbows. And we have swivel at the elbows. So that's pretty nice. and no waist and the hips don't go out we can only move forward that much back that much forward this much back a lot and single jointed knees and that is the only articulation we have for this action figure so not too bad we can also get it to stand here is the rhinoceros action figure it's an impressively sized action figure so you know, more than a handful so I like that so let's see how big this action figure is so from the tail to the front of the horn 
maybe about 12 inches long or about 31 centimeters long and the height looks like it's about five and a quarter inches tall or about 13 centimeters tall and at the widest point a little more than three inches wide or about eight centimeters wide so it's a nicely sized rhinoceros action figure and it actually is an action figure because it has joints in it and it does have an action feature so uh, there the head can move up and it does stay up sometimes although the action feature when we push the button on the back here, I already did that earlier, it'll make the head rise up and then it'll fall down again. So I don't think there's a whole lot of painting on this. Maybe just a little bit on the horn here. Seems to be just a slightly different color than the rest of it. Little dots for the eyes, tiny little eyes there. So, not much else on the rest of the body. So, lots of wrinkles sculpted throughout the rhinoceros. Some nice wrinkles on the head there. On the body here, around the neck. There's the underside. Uh, no real details on the bottoms of the feet. We have some toes there, but they're not painted. So, uh, they did put some effort into this, so it looks nice. And it might have been nice if they painted it a little bit. And here's the tail. So it's a thin piece of plastic, so it'll bend, but we don't want to do that, because I'm sure it'll break. And the leg articulation, we can go back only that far and move forward that far move forward this far, move back that far, move back that far and move forward only that far. And here we can move forward just not really, but then we can go back this far. So not very much articulation and because of the position of the feet we have to keep the legs in this position in order for this to stand stably on the surface so looks pretty nice though I do like how how it's more than a handful and looks good in a display here's the charging rhino and the human character I will compare this with a few other action figures here is an adventurer from an animal planet set I reviewed a while ago so he's a little bit smaller and here is the 4-inch Fortnite Jonesy action figure by Jazzwares. So he's just a little bit taller than the human character. And he's a bit smaller than the Rhino. And here is a 6-inch action figure. The Fortnite Legendary Series Havoc action figure by Jazzwares. So he's much taller than the human character and he's taller than the rhino so perhaps that's a young or small rhino so i think they scale together nicely and then here is a seven inch action figure the masters of the universe master verse he-man action figure by mattel so at seven inches he towers over the human character and he's much taller than the rhino so they they can scale together nicely if the rhino is a young rhinoceros or a small rhinoceros. Still, it's a pretty big animal with a big um, horn, something that would give He-Man some trouble. And then we have Dwayne The Rock Johnson, or whatever character he played in the movie. And there, he is taller than the human character, about half an inch taller. 
so it's nice to see a variety of sizes and action figures there and the rhino is huge compared to him so that's an abnormally large rhino uh, compared to a human being at this scale so the rhino is perhaps too big and finally the previous animal I reviewed the hippopotamus so there it looks much bigger because of the huge mouth so the mouth makes it seem much taller but I think the rest of the body is a bit shorter than the rhino's body so these look nice with a bunch of other action figures overall I think this is a pretty nice set so the Hammertron sledgehammer rating is pretty good for this set. I especially like the rhino. I think that is my favorite animal. I haven't decided yet. But I do like the set. Now it is kind of limited in articulation but perhaps that can't be helped. And the human figure I think is okay although it seems to be a little bit strangely proportioned. I think the arms are a bit long but I think it's still okay. So I'm pretty happy with the set and I look forward to using the Rhino in a variety of displays or diorama with a variety of, of scales of action figures, either 4 inch or 6 inch or 7 inch. So I think those will go well together. So thank you for watching my review video. Remember to like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.